So um, my name is Ashley, and my husband Alex and I are the owners of Big Apple Bagels in Forest Lake, Minnesota. Uh, we've owned the store for the last nine years. The store itself has been here for 25 years. You know, remembering, recalling what the store was like, I had actually just come on. Um, I left a career of teaching. I was a teacher for 10 years. Uh, we just gave, we just had our second son, um, and we needed to rearrange our priorities. So instead of continuing on with teaching, the opportunity presented itself for me to help out Alex um, at our bakery here at Big Apple Bagels. Mm. Um, one of the main things that he has done for me is that he has made me realize that although I may have my shortcomings and I have my things that I need to work on, it still doesn't define who I am. Like I can, I can, I can choose to not let that define me. I can be above that and I cannot let that take over my thoughts and I cannot let that take over how I interact with my employees and my customers. Mm. Um, the second thing is the importance of the relationship that I have with my husband. That the time we have together is time that we need together. Um, sitting down at the dinner table, putting the cell phones away, not answering the emails, not answering the text messages. I remember there was one time where um, I'm pretty sure he said, put your effing phone away or something like that. You don't have to put that in the interview or anything like that. But I, it's but I, it's, it's okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but, but you know, but you, you helped both of us realize, Les helped us realize how important that relationship is, how important that we need to focus on our relationship in addition to our business. Like first and foremost, we are husband and wife. First and foremost, we are a mother and a father. And you know, the business is just kind of like a perk that we get to bring to the community of Forest Lake. And if we forget who we are as a couple and as parents and as community members, this could all go away. Yeah. Um, and so it's important to put that first. First off, be upfront. You know, be upfront and tell it how it is. Um, he does not, um, he doesn't need to beat around the bush. You don't need to beat around the bush with him. Tell it to him straight and give him all the information you can. And don't hide anything from him. If you hide things, then that's going to make his coaching even more difficult. It's going to make it harder to make an impact on the goals that you want to accomplish if you're hiding things from your coach. And then make the time. You know, if you want your business to succeed, if you want this type of coaching, you will make the time so that you can achieve your goals. Don't put it on the back burner. If you're if you're hemming and hawing about it, then I feel like you're not ready to take on the responsibility of a coach. And you'll know if you want a coach. You're not going to be, well, I could do this or well, I could do that. No, you're going to know right away. And you're going to want that coach right away.